and life changes at the speed of your decisions. Life doesn't happen by thinking. <laughs> People say knowledge is power. No, knowledge is not power. Knowledge applied is power. Here's your two words to succeed this year. One step. Mm -hmm. One step. That's the two words. And you got to say you got to say something to yourself. You got to say, "All right, here I am. There's a piece of my life that I am not happy with and I want to change." And you got to make a decision to take one step now. Now. And, 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 that's, and that's the key. These men made a decision. They're like, if we keep doing what we keep doing, the end is not good. I would rather take action and die than set and take no action and exist you see my friend there's there's like three kinds of um I, I would i would call it like there's like three modes that people are in in life it's like mode number one is the maintenance mode where you're just right you're you're just um you're just keep putting out fires it's like you keep getting one crisis after the next crisis after the next crisis and so you have to keep putting out fires all the time and and that's that's exhausting that's a that's tiring like over and over and over again it like it never changes when's it gonna stop i got one negative situation hit my life after the next and and they just live in i gotta go fix this i gotta go fix this i gotta go fix this a lot of leaders do that the other, the other one is maintenance. Maintenance is just where I'm just maintaining everything. I'm just, I'm, I'm just in this situation where if I could just keep what I have and maintain where we're at, that's called the comfort zone. It's called the comfort zone. The Jeez. third mode is momentum, getting momentum back. You know, when you're in momentum, momentum is like, Man, things are happening for me. Momentum, you can tell, just the pickup of my voice. Momentum, it's, it's, there's energy, there's excitement, there's joy. There's, man, there's something going on in my life. I can see some things happening in my life. I may not be where I want to be, but I'm not, I'm not where I was. And I see progress. My life is moving forward. And life changes at the speed of your decisions. Life doesn't happen by thinking. <laughs> People say knowledge is power. No, knowledge is not power. Knowledge applied is power. So life changed. There has to be a decision. We got to take a first step. I can't just sit here. And I see this so many times with like spiritual people. They, they, they're like, well, I'm just going to pray to God and God's just going to, you know, God's just going to turn my finances around. I'm just going to pray to God and God will just send me a relationship. I'm just going to pray to God and, and boing, my health is going to be better, but I'm not going to exercise. I'm not going to eat right. I, <laughs> it's just, I'm asking you to, to sit down and say, wait a minute, time out. God gave me power. God gave me authority in the earth, the ability to act, the ability to take a first step. And I'm telling you, it's required. 
If you want to see life change, you can go to church Monday through Sunday. You can live in church. You, you can pray. You can, you, you, you can, you can fast. You can, you can quote scriptures. You can confess the Bible. I'm going to make a positive affirmation today. You can do all of that stuff, but confession without action is delusional. And this one man, something about this one guy, he like, he like came to himself. It's like, it's like the prodigal son. He was sitting there in, in the hog pen, and the Bible says he came to himself. I got to do something. I got to get up on out of here. I got to take a step away. Now here's... Here's the thing, right? I must take a step. And then providence moves. It's not, and and providence means God's dealings in my future. It's it's not, wait, I'm going to wait for God to move and then I'm going to move. That's not how it works, my friend. I'm sorry. That's not faith. I love James because James says faith without works is dead. See, I believe that God is asking you to do some really big things. I believe that God is asking his people to come out of their comfort zone, come out of maintenance mode. And some of you have been like a bear that goes into hibernation. <laughs> it's, just like, it's like since 20... Uh, 2020 with COVID, it's like some of you are like, you don't even realize it. You're like in this maintenance mode. That's what a bear does. It just goes into uh, maintenance, maintaining. It gets, it gets caught up. It gets comfortable. It stays in its, you know, in, in, in it, down in the ground, wherever, whatever they do. I don't know what they do. But, but there's no action. It's just maintaining to get by until the season passes. God wants to do some incredible things, but he needs you to take a first step because once you take the first step, that's when God's going to move on your behalf. I remember when I was building our our new house, first time I've ever built a, a new house before in my whole life, I had no idea what was going on. And the interesting thing about this, right, is like, it's like we had a desire, we had a goal. We, my wife and I, we had a dream. And so here we were, we, we, we were in our old house, but we had a dream of building this new house with, with my studio in it. And, and you know, we, we were tired of living in a gated community and and nobody mowing their grass right. And, and we just got frustrated with everything that was going on. We're like, man, we, we want to get out of here. And what some of you need to realize is some of the frustration that you're experiencing in life is like God's trying to get you out of your comfort zone of your nest. And everything in my mind said, oh, man, that's, that's going to be so much work. I just want to stay here. You know, it's comfortable here. I know here. (laughs) But there was also a lot of unknown. I had never done this before. And and that's the big thing, right? With all of us here, we're here, but we want to be here. And so there's the gap between where we are, where we want to go. And that gap, there's one word in between the gap. Fear. Fear. You're scared. Fear is going to cause you to stay where you are. It's going to cause you to say, I'm going to stay by these gates, like these four lepers. This has been the place we've been fed for a long time. I'm going to stay by these gates. And maybe if we wait a little longer, maybe things will change and people come back by, start feeding us and giving us money again. But I was like, no, we, we've got to make, we've got to, we've got to make a move. 
And what I kept hearing was, hey, Keith, I want you to progress. I don't want you to stay the same. I don't want you to remain where you're at. I want your life to progress and to move forward. And, and, and so I believe God was asking me to take a, a step. What was the first step? Like, I'm like, well, how, how are we going to do this? Well, the first step was, all right, hmm, I got to find a piece of property. So I started looking for a piece of property. That was what? That was the first step. That was the, I mean, I can't build a house unless I have land to build it on. So I took the first step. I said, all right, I'm going to start looking for a piece of property. I took the first step. See, once you take the first step, then providence moves on your behalf. And I want you to hear this. I believe that God has some surprises for you this year. God has something special for you this year. But he needs you to make the first step. And guess what? It's going to take confidence. Yes, yeah, see, some of you think in your mind. Here we go. Here you go. You ready? Some of you think in your mind that you're stuck. You, you think, we can't do nothing. It, it's, it's over. But I want you to hear me. You're not stuck. You just lack a little bit of knowledge. You lack some skills. You got to get new skills. New knowledge, new skills will create what? New actions. And finally, you need a dose of confidence. That's all you need. You're not stuck. You, you just need some confidence to take the first step. And then God, just like these four lepers, then God's going to move for you. And some surprises are going to come your way. Providence doesn't move twiddling your, your thumbs. Providence doesn't move until you move. Moses, stretch your rod. The Red Sea parts. I'm going to leave you with this quote. One step this year in the right direction is worth a hundred years of thinking about it. Say that again. One step in the right direction is worth a hundred years of thinking about it. Praying about it. It's time to take one step. No matter what that step is. It's time to take the step. It's time to make our moves. God is asking you to take a bold move. Now is the time. Don't put it off. I'm going to do it next month. Uh, uh, maybe. I'm considering. Wish you. Go for it. The one step in the right direction is worth a thousand years of thinking about it. It's time to do something. I hope you've enjoyed this. I want you to look at your life and I want you to say, what is my next step? What is just the one little thing I can do? And have confidence. The bottom line is this. The man who has more, the man who does more, and the man or woman who helps more people is a man or a woman who does more. It's the bottom line. It doesn't matter whether you're saved or unsaved. You're a follower of Christ or you're Muslim. It makes no difference. Take action and take the first step. And providence 
it's going to move for you. God bless you.